I said, I'll give you $7.2 million for giving me 600,000 over your lifetime, would you take the deal? I'm going to show you how to make millions the easy way. What's up, guys? So today I want to tell you, talk to you about why you need to invest early. Uh, compound interest is your best friend when it comes to finances, right? There are many ways to make a lot of money, but this is, a, this is definitely one that you should be taking advantage of because whether you're a good entrepreneur that can successfully build massive wealth through, you know, lots of sales or scaling a business or whatever, that's great. But you might as well take that money and put it to work as well, right? So you should invest early. Now, early is a big key to this, right? Because length of time invested is how compound, compound interest really gets geared up. Um, you can compound interest one year to the next, and that's great, right? Let's say you make 10% on your money this year, and then you reinvest it and make another 10%. Well, that's, that's cool. But over time, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And when you can invest for 30 or 40 or 45 years, it gets ridiculous. And I'm going to walk you through some scenarios right now to, to demonstrate just what compound interest can do and how little money you need to invest to make a million bucks. So if you have time, so let's say you're in your teens or 20s or, or even 30s, right? And you, you may have 40 years to invest. Um, if you invest for 40 years, you only have to pay, let's see, I think I wrote it down. You only have to pay about $80 million, 81 or <laughs> 80 million. That's a lot of money. You have to pay $81,000 to make a million if you have 40, 40 years, right? So there's, there's ways to manipulate this. You can make way more than that off of the same $80,000 if you can invest it early. Uh, or if you can invest more money than that, you can make exponentially more money. So let's walk through these scenarios. Let's say you invest $170 a month. That's not that much, right? You could, you could scrape up 170 bucks a month. I mean, you could go clean people's cars and make more than $170 a month. So you throw 170 bucks a month in the stock market and you average 10% forever more, right? For 40 years, you'll have $1 million. You paid $81,600 to get that $1 million. So let's just say your income goes up. You're making $50,000 $50, a year. You're investing 15% of your income, like most financial advisors would recommend. 15% of your income goes straight to investments, right? That's $7,500 a year, which is broken down to $625 a month. So now we're talking some real money, right? For a lot of people, you have 40 years to invest that. That's $3.6 million that you have and you paid 300K. That's a good deal. That's a really good deal. Pay 300,000 for 3.6 million. Okay, your income goes up. You're, you're now putting in 10 grand a year. I've got an entire video about how you can put in, you can afford to put in $10,000 a year. That's not that much money. It's less than, I break down all the ways that you can save 10 grand a year and invest it. Okay, so go check that out. $10,000 a year, that's $833 a month. That equals $4.85 million after 40 years invested and you paid 400K. Okay, I got a couple more of these and then we're gonna break, go, go a different direction. Okay, now you're making, you're putting 15,000 a year in there. This is, this is not a ridiculous amount of money, right? If you make a hundred grand a year and you invest 15%, that's 15K. So there's a lot of people out there making a hundred grand, right? 15K a year, that's 1250 a month for 40 years. That's $7.28 million and you paid 600,000 to get it. So that is compound interest. And that's something that you wanna take advantage of. Now, I'm gonna use that last example, 15K a year, 12.50 a month, and we're gonna take off 10 years. You only have 30 years to invest. Instead of 40 years, you go 30 years, you now only get $2.65 million and you paid 450,000 for it. So you only paid 150,000 less, but got 5 million less dollars because you only had 30 years instead of 40. If you have 20 years, you get 
$905,000. If you have 10 years, you get $248,000 and you paid 150,000. So you paid more than half because you only had 10 years to invest. So I'm not saying it wasn't worth it, right? If you only have 10 years to invest, I mean, I would take that two, I would take the 250 for 150 any day, right? So this demonstrates just how important long-term investing is and compound interest. It's those later years that make you all your money. Let's look back at that 30 versus 40. 30 years, you had 2.65 million. 40 years, you had 7.2 million. A $5 million difference just in the last 10 without changing the amount you're contributing every month. So the compound interest is the ability for money to make more money on the earnings, right? A real life example of that would be if I sell microphones like this one I'm speaking into and I, you know, whether I manufacture them or buy them wholesale and then I, so I spend a certain amount of money, I buy those microphones, I turn around, I upsell them, you know, I mark up the price and sell them for, you know, I bought them for 50, I sell them for a hundred. Well, that one time purchase is profit in my, in my pocket. If I take that profit without spending any of it, I don't spend any, I purchase more microphones. Now I can buy more than I bought before. And I sell all those. I make more profit. I can take every dime of that profit and buy more microphones than I had before, right? And it's slowly getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Assuming there's no cap on how many mics I can sell. The only cap is how much money I can afford to buy microphones with it gets larger each time I turn those over, right? So stores operate this way. This is Walmart's model. They sell things for as cheap as they can, but they move a lot of product. So if you can move product with this, your cash flow just grows, 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 right? That's what compound interest is doing. Every year you're getting 10%. So if you invest $100, you make 10 the first year. Well, now you've got 110 invested. So you make 111 the next year, right? So add the, or you make 11. So you add the 11. So now you've got $121 invested. So now you make 12, 10 the next year, right? Add that to it. So it just compounds and your money grows and grows and grows and grows. If you had 50 years to invest, you'd make tens of millions of dollars. It's crazy. So I've started an account for all my children and they invest a portion of the money that they earn or they get for birthday presents or whatever. And I recommend you do the same. But as far as you your, yourself, if you're in your teens or 20s or 30s, do not stop. Do not delay investing. You've got to get started. So I hope that helped you understand what compound interest is and the significance of investing early. Like, let's say you get a lump sum of money that even changes the, that changes the game. Let's calculate that real quick. So let's just say you can afford to put $100,000 in an investment account today. You just throw it in there. You don't contribute another dollar the rest of your life. You leave it for 40 years. You would make $3,833,000. So you paid a hundred grand for nearly $4 million, right? So the more money you can get in early, the less money you have to put in over time. And you can get great returns and massive retirements. Uh, if, you could have, if you could potentially get yourself to work your ass off and you know stockpile 100,000 or $150,000 into an account, you could just make small contributions for the rest of your life and retire with $10 million or more, right? So it is critical. So anyway, hope that helped. I appreciate you watching. And uh, please give me a like, a subscribe, a share, all those things that YouTubers ask for. And we'll catch you on the next one. Adios.